Hi, welcome to Christmas Village. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Susie, and I'm actually the head out here, and I'll be the one giving you your tour around the village today. Would that be all right? Oh, wonderful. Okay. Well, you just arrived last night, right? Okay, and how was your trip? Oh, yes, the Polar Express is wonderful, isn't it? I thought we might get started right here in the town center. Uh, you just stayed in the Sugar Plum Fairy bed and breakfast last night, correct? Okay. Did you get a chance to try their French toast this morning? Oh, yeah. It's one of a kind. I know. Uh, I've been trying to get the recipe for years. There's just something special about it, but uh, the owner just won't share it with me. Maybe one day. But anyway, uh, the, town's, uh, the town itself, I thought I'd give you a little bit of background. Uh, Christmas Village has been around for approximately um, 1,315 years. Uh, thereabouts, yeah. And, um, of course, the inhabitant pool, uh, the population, has grown significantly over the decades. I had started off as just Mr. and Mrs. Claus and a couple of loyal elves, and it grew from there, and there are around 630 of us here today. Yes. Well, we, we try to keep the uh, population kind of low, uh, just to keep that quaint town feel, definitely. Yes, we have a, a school here for the children. Uh, and a library, and a bank, those sorts of things. So currency really doesn't mean as much here as it does in the real world. Mm -hmm. Well, it's mainly for um, exchanging currencies for if we do have to go uh, to various other parts of the globe and actually purchase things. But most of the things we have uh, are made here, kind of a sustainable village. Uh, we grow our own fruits and vegetables, that sort of thing, so, yeah. Well, uh, this right here off to the left is the Snowflake Spa, and, okay, you're gonna get a chance to go there, I think, this week, right? Uh, it's one of uh, my favorite places, definitely. They have a wide uh, range of services that they offer, anything from facials to haircuts. So, uh, actually the elf who runs it is my cousin, so she's, uh, you'll get a chance to meet her. She's awesome. Yeah. And um, right here is Santa's Toy Workshop. And I know that as part of your uh, your stay here, you're going to be going on a tour, and I'm actually going to be taking you on that tour later this week, but I thought I'd just walk you by the workshop just so you could get a feel, uh, get your bearings and see where everything is. And uh, the toy workshop has um, been in operation almost since the start of Christmas Village, about five years afterward. Originally, uh, most of the toy manufacturing was done in Santa's mansion itself, but um, as operations grew, they needed larger facilities, so, yeah. Now, at this particular workshop, we make about 95% of the toys that are delivered to children on Christmas Eve. Uh, the other 5% we do have to pick up uh, in, your <laughs> in your world uh, for the simple fact that um, we just can't make it, such as certain electronics and maybe the hot sellers of the season. Those we do have to uh, pick up outside of Christmas Village itself, yeah. Yeah, I always tend to refer to it as a different world up here just for the simple fact that it is so very uh, far removed <laughs> from the rest of the globe, exactly. So, um, we're next we're going to come up upon the bakery here. Another one of my favorites, a highlight of Christmas Village, definitely. Uh, you'll have to go there and try some of the goodies that they offer. Uh, their sugar cookies and snickerdoodles are absolutely to die for. So you'll definitely want to check those out. And um, 
Mm. Well, they make everything there. Of course, we don't have anything shipped in. Everything's baked fresh daily. So you'll get, uh, you'll get some sweet treats that you've never quite seen before or some traditional favorites that are just made even more wonderful because of the love and magic that goes into them. Alright, so this next building we're coming up on here is the Christmas Village Museum and it just essentially is more of a historical museum than a cultural museum. There are some art pieces that are Santa inspired, uh, however it's uh, more of a a story of our history, different artifacts, yeah, from when the first uh, Christmas village was first founded, so, yeah, that sort of thing. <laughs> oh yeah, you're more than welcome to tour the museum anytime you like, admission is free, so, no problem. Okay, and the next building here is a, kind of a special and a unique building that we have. It is the um, Tenenbaum Visitor Center. And you can stop by here anytime you like and uh, get our little information pamphlets that talk about different attractions and activities that you can participate in while you're staying in Christmas Village. I know that you have quite a few things already planned though while you're here, right? Yeah. But if you have a free moment, you can always stop in there and see if there's anything else that you'd like to try out, okay? Okay. So now this next building here is... Uh, Christmas Village, uh, our main landmark, it's kind of a piece de resistance, it's uh, Santa's Mansion. Well, when we first uh, built Christmas Village all those years ago, he lived in a very small cabin, but uh, as the years have gone on, uh, he's upgraded here and there, and it's now what sits before you, and it's quite magnificent, isn't it? There are actually 15 rooms, bedrooms. Um, I think I've lost count of how many toy storage rooms. And um, I believe seven bathrooms. And if I'm not mistaken, there are new, now two uh, offices, which one of them is primarily reserved for the Naughty and Nice List creation, and then the other one is for accounting. Mm -hmm. Yes, there aren't any specific headquarters. All of the business uh, side of things, I guess you could say, is all done at Sandus Mansion, exactly. So it kind of doubles as a uh, business center as well. Yeah. And right here off to your left is the souvenir shop. I highly recommend you go in there and check it out. There's um, my favorite thing in there are the handcrafted snow globes. And there's amazing ornaments that you won't find anywhere else, I can guarantee it. So you'll definitely want to stop in there. And the gift wrap as well, so if you wanted to pick out a gift for someone back home, uh, you could always have a gift wrap and they do a an absolutely amazing job. They're truly professionals. They'll put all the finishing touches on it and make it look... <laughs> yeah, make it look first class so you don't have to worry about that. In the center of the town here, I forgot to point out, as you can see, there's the uh, the first Christmas tree. So this was the first Christmas tree that was ever put up, and uh, every year another ornament is added. So um, it is quite a large tree. Uh, we're thinking about putting up a second tree next year somewhere else in the village nearby, just for the simple fact that the ornaments are almost making the tree bust at the seams, so to speak, so we might need to erect a second tree. Our city council is actually voting on that um, toward the beginning of next year, so, yeah. All right, you'll see off to the left here, these are all um, actually the elf dormitories, so, um, um, some elf families actually have housing units that um, are on the other side of the village. It's kind of a um, housing development, you could say. But um, these are for the elves who are basically in training, so they stay in the dorms here. And they're very spacious and very luxurious, I can assure you. So, definitely. 
And then off to uh, the right of that building is the, uh, the bank that I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. And then on the, just on the other side of that building are, is actually the reindeer stables. So that's where we have all of the reindeer and some alternate reindeer, of course, just in case you know, Blitzen or Donner falls ill, whatever the case may be. We have had that some years. So uh, we always make sure that uh, the vet is on hand as well. And he also lives actually right in that house, right off. Yeah, the blue one right there. That's where uh, the reindeer vet lives. So he also tends to some of the other animals that are in the village as well, but his primary concern is keeping the reindeer safe and sound throughout the year. Definitely. <laughs> Need to make sure that they're uh, taken care of. Speaking of reindeer, it wouldn't do much good to have them if you didn't have the sleigh that they needed to pull. So uh, if you just follow me this way, that building right there uh, with the golden roof, that's actually where we keep the sleigh. And we have five different sleighs, actually. Uh, some people call it sled, sleigh. It's the same difference, exactly. So that's where we actually keep them. All the maintenance is done on them. We have a mechanic, uh, several mechanics, actually, on staff who take care of them around the clock, especially around this time of year. And uh, that's where all of the equipment is stored as well. Um, namely, the uh, toy bag that Santa carries with him. Yes, it's a large velvet bag. It's absolutely amazing. So that's where that's kept. So we're going to loop back around to the town center again. And here we are. And then, of course, you're staying in the bed and breakfast. And that bed and breakfast has been around for 755 years. Of course, there have been different owners, but it's the same family who's owned it throughout all the generations. And it actually only opens the day after Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and it will remain open until New Year's Day. Exactly. And then they, of course, close uh, for the rest of the year, and they're only open for the Christmas season because we really don't have visitors any other time of the year. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's about it. Did you have any questions for me? No? Okay. Well, that was... Absolutely fantastic meeting you, and I'll see you later on in the week when I give you that tour of the Santa workshop, okay? Yeah, be prepared to see <laughs> plenty of toys and uh, lots of behind-the-scenes uh, tinkering. Okay, I'll see you then.